the Joe Rogan experience. Uh, cool. Someone just on my on my Instagram just posted a picture of a tattoo, a beautiful tattoo of, of the werewolf. Uh, oh, yeah? So many people have them. I mean, one guy did a, a cover-up tattoo that was incredible, the werewolf. But they, I, it's funny. I mean, I have the werewolf. I have Harry on people. I've got the Grinch, mm, you know. Yeah. Uh, and some of the stuff. I, uh, Harry and the Hendersons, yeah, Harry? Yeah. That's uh, another one. Oh, and that's one of the films I think still, I mean, when people ask me what my favorite one is, uh, I, I say Harry because I, I can look at that film today and I think it holds up perfectly fine. The only thing I think I would change is that I would make his teeth a little more translucent you know, in the mm. ends. But it, uh, that was a challenging movie because he had to communicate just by his visual expressions you know, right. and and carry the movie, you know. Um, and I think he did and I think it, and it works quite well. Was there is there a movie that stands out as being the most frustrating, like the end result? <laughs> um, <laughs> probably, you know, I mean, they're they're all frustrating to a degree, you know. Uh, what well, I don't know if there's one particular one. I mean, I did, and I don't consider this my film. I was approached um, by Bob Weinstein to do uh, a werewolf movie uh, called Cursed that uh, Wes Craven was going to direct. And I basically turned it down, and there wasn't a lot of time. And Bob used my own words against me, apparently, on a, on a DVD of American Werewolf. I said, I'd love to have the opportunity to do a transformation again and do it knowing what I know now and with the crew that I have now. Right. And he goes, I'm giving you that. You said that, you know. So I said to him, the only way I would do this is if you don't have an opinion and Wes doesn't have an opinion – you just let me make what I think is best for this film. It's the only way I can make it cool in the time that you have. I can't play the change this, change that game. You know, absolutely. You know, <laughs> of course that's not the case. No, <laughs> right? And they say that, and the, yeah, the they say that, and it was like change this, change that, change this, change that, and it was just like you know, and you almost have to have a, a clause in the contract that if they do fuck with you at all, you could just leave and get paid. Uh, I've done that in a, in in one one contract, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, it turned out uh, the. They started the film before they really had a script, and it was a oh, oh what a good was, idea! Yeah, and it happens all the time, <laughs> and they it was just a mess. And I never so, even heard of it. Cursed, yeah, what's good? You didn't hear about. It. I'm surprised I'm even mentioning it because it did. They shut the film down, and I went okay. And I said, but we were we were doing some really cool transformation stuff, and it wasn't quite done. And I said, listen, if you ever think the film's going to pick up again, if you can keep a, a number of my people on for Another month, we can have this transformation stuff. We'll put it in a box. It'll be ready to go. So if they disperse now, it, it's going to be like starting again because right. nobody you know, won't necessarily get the same people. You know, right. you know, I know. Well, just put everything in a box. You know, ship it to us. We're, you know, if we start up again, you know, we'll we'll figure it out. They started up again. I I didn't do it. I was on something else. Someone else took over. They uh. they changed everything that I made. They didn't use a lot of what I made. But the film has a single card opening credit that says Rick Baker on it. Oh. And I I spoke with Weinstein and go, I don't want credit for this film. It's not my film. This isn't my work anymore. But it would help them to have you on it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, I found that frustrating, you know. But, but, you know, again, I have no right to complain about this stuff. You know? They don't do a lot of monster movies anymore. And the number of werewolf movies, you can kind of count them on one hand. <laughs> Right? I mean, you one, got the one, howling. One stretchy one hand. Stretchy hand. Yeah. I mean, you have the howling. <laughs> of course, you have American Werewolf. You have the earlier films. But this, it's, you know, and then you have those. I don't consider them werewolf movies. Those, what are the ones with the lady? The Underworld. Kate Beckinsale. Yeah, Underworld, yeah. Yeah, yeah those are kind of. But but they're fun to watch Kate Beckinsale in a latex hot. suit. Yeah. She's pretty fucking hot. Yeah. But they're just kind of whack. The movies are kind of whack. Yeah. The vampires are whack. It's like, I don't buy any of what you're selling. I don't uh -huh. think these are real vampires. I'm not scared. I don't think that's a werewolf. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, well, I'm just, more old school yeah. um, horror movie guy. And I'm not a big slasher movie guy you know i mean no, again I, I i don't like i mean i can't i can't watch those fights that you're you know, the man. ufc fights oh, really no i have a, one of my crew eddie yang the uh shout out to eddie great guy yeah eddie was the per he, he he studied with one of the gracies oh and cool. and uh he was saying you, hey you gotta watch this rick and i mean these guys hitting each other in the face with their elbow and, mm -hmm. and I, 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 I i said no I, it's not for me you know and, and people will send me because they think i like this stuff um Pictures. Oh, look! Uh, fell down and cut my head. You know, it's, I don't want to see oh, that. You know, I, 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 I pass out when I cut myself. You know, really? I, yeah. Do I, you? I, I mean, 
fake gore is one thing, you know, but I, I think it's bad that, you know, a movie, you know, when, uh, you know, ha- Halloween and, and, and Friday the 13th and, mm-hmm. and it just became, how, what's the most graphic way we can kill a teenager, you oh, know, right, and, right. and people become, when you see, you know, a guy with a, you know, get shoved in, a knife shoved in his eye and the people on you just like cheer. Right. That seems wrong to me, you know? <laughs> yeah, just, the desensitization. You know, yeah. you should be repulsed by this stuff. Right. And, and I mean, I, you know, I, it's, I don't know. <laughs> you know it's like, but it's so, fu- I mean, people would think it's funny and kind of ironic coming from someone like you who's made these insane monster films like American Werewolf in London where he's just ripping guys' heads off and Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> but it's monster and, gore, you I know? Understand. And it's the same thing like, you know, if, if it's a zombie killing, you know, you're killing a zombie, mm-hmm. that's okay. You know, that's, right. that's, that's not real, you know? Right. But just killing a person, it, another person killing a person in a graphic way, I, right. I, 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 I'm not fond of, you know? So I don't like, you know, I mean... I, I like, I, well, I call them monster movies more than right. else, you know, and I like Me the, too, yeah. And, you know, I mean, that Charles Lawton, Quasimodo, I mean, it's a brilliant film. Mm-hmm. And he, yes. It's a brilliant makeup. Yeah. 1939. Right. Uh, and, you know, it's a, a, a perfect makeup on a perfect actor, you know. Uh, Charles Lawton was great in that movie, and you feel for him, you know. You feel for the Frankenstein's monster, you know. And, those Those movies just don't. There's, there's so few and far between today. Like I see a real Frankenstein type movie. 